Hey guys, even here, and in today's video we got some, well, I don't know if I should call this breaking news, it is quite expected, so the list for the Italy Pro uh, this next weekend is out, and as you can see there's a bunch of names here, and uh, Rubio Mosquera is of course not on the list. I mean it was pretty obvious that he was not gonna do the show, but however it seems this season, 2024, is not over for him yet. He's gonna try and qualify for the Mr. Olympia at the UK show right after Italy. As of right now, there is no interview of uh, Rubio's coach or of Rubio himself. There are no posts, there is nothing on YouTube. I didn't find anything where they say this, but multiple people have sent me a couple of things, like they spoke to his coach, he told them this, and there was an interview with uh, Francisco Aspin like last week, and he was basically saying that there is no chance of Rubil beating Hunter at the Italy Pro. He was so convinced, he was so sure that Rubil doesn't stand a chance against uh, this guy right here, Hunter Labrada, and I think it makes a lot of sense, I think it was pretty obvious. I mean, yeah, he's Rubil's coach, and maybe he should have more belief in him and like say that he can beat Hunter, but he was just being realistic, and I think we can all agree that Hunter is winning Italy Pro. Maybe if Nick Zilla came like super, super shredded like he was never before, but based on the physique update we saw of Rubio at like two, three weeks out of Italy Pro, it didn't seem like he can get in that kind of condition. I thought it was enough time, you know, between uh, Dubai Pro and Italy Pro, five freaking weeks, but nobody knows what Rubio did to get in that kind of shape for Dubai Pro. Maybe he was already maxing out with like cardio and deficit and fat burners and everything, and it just didn't happen, so where to go from there? I don't know what is the situation, he definitely wasn't in shape at like 2-3 weeks out, he was nowhere near in the kind of condition that Hunter is having right now, so it was a rational decision to skip this show and do the next one. So like I said, a couple of people told me this, they DM'd me, they actually spoke to Francisco Aspin, he confirmed all this, I can't show you the messages, I don't have an interview or anything like that, there is this thing, however, on YouTube, the guy speaks Spanish, I don't speak Spanish, but somebody translated it for me, and as you can see in this part of the video, he actually shows us when Francisco was saying that Hunter is gonna beat Rubio for sure, and he spoke, like he, he texted with Francisco, and he confirmed that uh, Rubio is not competing at Italy Pro, and that he is gonna do the UK show one week after Italy, and this uh, Instagram page, who is the best bodybuilder, also confirmed this, I guess they spoke to Francisco Aspin, so Rubio is most certainly out. As you can see, the list for Italy Pro is not small, like there is 13 guys, not a lot of names, not a lot of big names, Andrea Presti is doing it, I guess he's gonna be the second guy here, the giant Morgan Asti is also doing this show, but he's not really a threat to this title, but Andrea Presti actually might push Hunter, but there is no chance of beating Hunter, that's definitely not happening, I don't think Andrea Presti ever qualified for the Mr. Olympia, I don't remember, maybe, maybe once, I'm not sure, he's a good bodybuilder, I mean, he can get in shape, he's big, but, you know, his legs are a weak point, and yeah, he is not on the level of Hunter Labrada, so this is gonna be an easy win for Hunter, pretty much like uh, the Texas Pro win for Andrew Jacked. Anyways, yeah, that's another show that Rubiel dropped <laughs> out of. I mean, he was planning on doing Arnold Classic UK and Arnold Classic Ohio, he dropped out of those two, then the New York Pro, then he almost dropped out of Dubai Pro, but his sponsors uh, forced him into competing there, and now he's dropping out of Italy, but at least he's not done for the season. People aren't gonna like this very much because he dropped out of so many shows, but really, let's be honest, like this, this is a rational decision. Traveling to Italy, peaking for that show, you know, just spending energy for no reason, and then losing to Hunter, just in order to look even worse at, at a UK show, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. So this is a sensible decision for sure, and it seems like Patrick Moore is also doing the UK show, and this is gonna be a very, very interesting mashup, because Patrick Moore is definitely one of the smallest guys, who are actually winning shows and qualifying for the Olympia. Now, it seems like Patrick did gain some muscle in the past offseason, I don't know what kind of conditioning Patrick is gonna bring, but if Patrick is a little bit bigger and diced the way he was in 2019 Mr. Olympia, and if Rubio is not that much improved from the Dubai Pro, 
I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure who's gonna win this. I would definitely bet on Rubio. I'm pretty sure Nickzilla is winning this show. And I'm pretty sure also that Patrick Moore is not gonna look like this. This is his, I think, his last show, Chicago Pro. I think he's gonna be bigger and more conditioned. So it's gonna be an interesting mashup, but yeah, I still think Nixilla is, is is big enough, like much, much bigger, that even if he's not super conditioned, it's probably still gonna be enough to beat uh, Patrick, who is basically on the verge of classic physique. Not so much by weight, you know, he can't really make the weight for classic, but he's not like on the level of Nixilla, not even close. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Nixilla's got this, and if he wins this show, he's qualifying for the Mr. Olympia, Maybe he's gonna get in shape in those, uh, how many, uh, four weeks between the UK and the Olympia. But I think he still needs to get the visa for the, for, the, for the US. But we'll see. I hope you're gonna get to see Rubiel on the Mr. Olympia stage. What do you guys think? I mean, uh, <laughs> what do you think about him dropping out? And also, what do you think about the, the UK show? Patrick Moore or Nexilla? All right, next up, we got a physique update from uh, Krijo, who is apparently in the gym. Now, basically, in the caption, he says uh, to the gym only for a coffee, but I don't know. I think he's he's doing something. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to actually go to the gym during this time. I mean, his recovery is going to last like 12 weeks, and it's been like three weeks since the surgery. And in my previous video, I actually said it like once he's recovered, he's going to come back better than ever. But there were some comments from people who actually had shoulder surgeries or just know other people who had shoulder surgeries and they're saying that those are very complicated, like the recovery is not that simple. I mean, I'm not an expert, I have no idea about this. I never had a surgery, I don't know much about this. But, uh, you know, I know people who had like hip surgeries, hip replacement surgeries, like uh, Roman Fritz. He replaced both of his hips. And a couple of weeks, basically, after he got out of hospital, he was squatting like three plates. I mean, I don't know how how much more complicated can shoulders be, but it's not like uh, Krijo had a shoulder replacement surgery. He just had a couple of tendons that were torn, and I guess he reattached those. Again, I'm not sure what exactly happened and how the recovery goes, but I hope he's going to be fine. I mean, I believe he's going to be. He is basically at his prime, at the peak of his career. I hope things don't go bad for him, but look at him now, by the way. Like, even though he had a shoulder surgery, he still looks pretty freaking crazy, right? I mean, those photos from the hospital after the surgery looked horrible. You know, he looked flat, he looked small. Now, he actually looks pretty freaking huge, right? And like the vascularity, the fullness... Everything looks pretty freaking good, right? His face looks kind of bloated, but I don't see why that would be the case. His conditioning, like in his arms and shoulders and chest, everything looks tight. Vascularity looks good as well. And I'm sure he's able to train legs properly, so hopefully he will not get lazy and he will do some work and he's going to recover fully and come back better than ever. But again, I don't know how, how how serious shoulder surgeries are and like how likely it is for him to recover fully. If you guys happen to know more about this, comment down below. All right, and finally, we got a new back update uh, from Derek Lansford. And yeah, things are getting tighter basically every week at this point. And Derek's back seems to be like improving every week. Like we can see major changes. I'm not saying he's growing new muscle on, on that bag, but as it's getting leaner, it's starting to show like some, some new freak factor, basically. And on that stage, when he turns around and he hits those two back shots, man, it's gonna be very difficult to ignore him. And it's not just the back, you know, it seems like he is coming in, in like really good condition and he's holding on to a lot of size. Look at his back, I mean, just the back, it's insane, it's one of the best backs of all time, basically. And I did a poll yesterday to see what you guys think who's gonna win the Mr. Olympia, and actually a lot of you guys have Derek winning again. Most of you voted Hadi, but a lot of you think it's gonna be Derek, so, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised if that happened as well. Because look at this again, look at the shoulders, the details. It really seems like Derek is gonna bring something better, something improved. Maybe not that much bigger, but he doesn't need to be bigger. He needs to be more conditioned, more detailed. And if he does that, I mean, I still believe Samson is going to win if he is really shredded, but if he is not, oof, I still see Derek and Hadi in that top three for sure. And I am seeing people predicting Derek out of top three. 
I mean, it's not very likely to happen. I mean, not just because he's the Mr. Olympia and because he did show up at a Pittsburgh Pro Guest posing, it's also because he seems to be coming better, you know, with a better, more impressive back and just overall more details. I'm curious to see his legs. Are his legs also improved? Because if they are, and he did lift very heavy, like he was doing some really heavy squats during this offseason and his prep as well. If his legs are also better, and everything else is just more detailed, more conditioned, with a bigger back, it's gonna be very hard to ignore him. This year's Mr. Olympia seems to be getting more exciting, and it's gonna be really crazy to determine the winner. You know, I really can't wait to see, finally, that top five, top six. It's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be ridiculous. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.